Released on the 80th birthday of its original creator, Osamatsu Sun revisits the infamous six tuplets for their adventures in deadbeat adulthood. Once popular as a family show, Osamatsu Sun has found a new popularity with a new audience, leading to it now airing its third season. Here's five things you need to know about Osamatsu Sun. The Matsu brothers were redesigned by the talented animator Naoyuki Asano, and it was his job to take the brothers from the original manga, age them up, and also find a way to differentiate them. Asano received a list of personality traits for each character, but to make things easier, he asked the design manager to stick some colours on the character sheets to make it clear who was who. At first, it was just a colour coding system that made it easier to work, but even though Asano managed to find plenty of ways to differentiate them visually, Actually, these colours ended up sticking and being represented in both the final show and its subsequent merchandise. To get an idea of the character's visual personalities, each of the characters is based on a guy that Naoyuki Asano knew, who were all a bit hopeless. But Ichimatsu was very specifically based on one of his old friends, so much so that when the show aired, a bunch of mutual friends contacted him after noticing the similarities. Everything from the posture to his expressions, sandals and the tone of voice, it was all based specifically on this one friend. On the other hand, Jushimatsu is so far out there that Asano had no reference for him and worried that he wouldn't come across as likeable. Osamatsu san was directed by longtime Gintama director Yoichi Fujita, so as you'd expect, he included plenty of parodies. But in season 1, he went a bit too far from the very start. Episode 1 featured parodies of 17 different properties, so when it was announced that the episode would be pulled from all streaming platforms, it was impossible to know which company had actually complained. What we do know is that after episode 3, the show's parody of Anpan Man had to be changed due to complaints complaints, leading to the head of TV Tokyo to apologise. The Gintama spirit never stops following you. The industry has changed a lot since Osamatsu-kun first aired on TV. At the time, it was all about ratings. You had to make sure that lots of people were tuning in. But as the producer of Osamatsu-san notes, their viewership numbers would be considered a failure back then. Osamatsu-san isn't that popular on TV, but instead, its popularity has come from a generation that no longer watches television. Osamatsu-san was hugely popular on streaming platforms, and it ended up having the best-selling disc sales of 2016. The standards have changed. With season 1, Osamatsu had created a standard for going all out with its first episodes, and they wanted to repeat this in season 2 as well. So for season 2 episode 1, the brothers reunite, having each grown up in a different way. Osamatsu becomes a successful adult, Karamatsu becomes a Terminator, Choramatsu becomes a 90s anime cliche, Ichimatsu became a fantasy hero, Toromatsu became live action, and Jushimatsu became a CG character. But they didn't just choose any CG company to make him. They chose the best. Digital Frontier is a film company that's largely known overseas for creating the Smash Bros Ultimate trailers, and in fact it was the same director as those trailers that directed the CG Jushimatsu. They're not at all cheap to hire, so the Osumatsu team was really going all out for this season 2 debut. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.